No instructions, just parts in a box. Their challenge? Four days to build and program a robot. Many have never used a computer before. Most are from schools where electricity is in short supply. There are also some of the brightest students in Senegal, quick thinkers and smartphone savvy. Meet the students from the Mariama Ba School for Girls. In just a few hours, they assemble their robot, giving it the name Gore, after the island where they're from. For me, building robots is about common sense and being open-minded. You just need basic notions of math and physics. That's it. The next part is trickier. Make the robot follow commands. That requires code. But Sidi, the organizer of this event, believes these students aged between 13 and 18 have what it takes. He knows a thing or two about challenges. Sidi was 16 when he left Senegal for the United States. He barely spoke English and didn't have much money. After overstaying his visa, he went to MIT. Sidi says he went from being a kid in the ghetto to leading a nanotechnology lab at the University of Nebraska. Regardless of whether you end up going to the U.S. or you stay in Senegal, you have, you have to go through the same difficulties, you know, and in order to be successful, you need to really uh, struggle and work hard. For some, coding comes naturally. It's just another language like French or English. For others, it's a bit more difficult. The idea is to get young people to understand they can actually build technology, not just use it. Each team is fine-tuning the commands. It's now a race against time to get Gore just right in time for the competition. Imagine this is a farm. Four teams will compete to pick up as many crops as possible represented by these rings. Now for CD, this is more than a game. It's about making robots relevant to people here in Senegal. A lot is riding on Gore. $500 in prize money and scholarships are on the line. The two best students will be selected to study engineering in the United States. More than a competition, this is an opportunity to open minds and, for the winners, change lives. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.